He joined at the age of 11. He stayed for the next 24 years of his career. He won 25 titles at Barca, including four Champions Leagues and eight La Liga titles. He's an icon at club level, at international level, and on the world sporting stage. And he's widely regarded as one of the most intelligent players ever to grace a football pitch. And now, a new chapter begins. A new journey is about to commence. Because right here, and right now, I present to you the new Barcelona coach, Xavi Hernandez is back. Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to the day that we have all been waiting for. And I'm not just talking about today. I'm not just talking about this week, this month, this year. But I think for a long, long time, we've always known that one day, Xavi would be back here, would return to the club of his life, and he would take charge, becoming the new Barca coach. Today, at long, long last, it's been made possible. There's fireworks going on right now outside of my house. We are ecstatic, enthusiastic, and extremely excited about Xavi's arrival. And could this be the change that we needed at long, long last? Because, of course, guys, when it comes to Xavi Hernandez, this is a man that we know very well. We are all very much aware of who Xavi is, what he can bring, and what he has already brought, of course, to this club in the past. Like I say, joining the club when he was just 11 years old and then spending the next 24 years of his life at this club. If there is somebody who knows this club inside out, it's him. He has experienced every level there of the Barca youth team working his way up. And I've got to say, he's not always had it easy because even then making it there to the senior squad, trying to make himself a fixture in that team, it wasn't easy. There was people there who doubted whether Xavi would make it to the very top. There was even rumours that he could leave the club. But no, Xavi never gave up. He never gave in, and in time, given some patience, he turned those doubters into supporters. Because of course, when you're talking about Xavi, you've got to talk about the very peak of his career, when he was at the peak of his powers in that midfield, which certainly did not come as a coincidence that at that same time, both Barca and the Spanish national team dominated the world. This guy was at the very heart of it, the beating heart of those teams there. The orchestrator, the controller, and the thinker, which rumour has it, he's taken into management too. He was known, of course, for his pure understanding of the game. He was known as a coach out on the field. And of course, the ability to thrive under pressure and pick the right pass at the right time every time. Because if I could sum up Xavi's illustrious career in three sentences, I'd say he saw everything. He won everything. And most importantly of all, especially now, he understood everything. Because of course, as we know, a wealth of experience as a player, and it doesn't matter how much success you have as a player, it doesn't guarantee you anything at all in the coaching world. The coaching world is a very, very different one, and everybody who's going into it needs to get that experience. And as we know, Xavi there retired from football in 2019. He spent the past few years there coaching at Al Sadd, working his way up, learning all of the time with one ultimate goal. Xavi has never hid it. He has never made it a secret that he wants to coach Barca. He has always wanted this job. And as you can see right here, he leaves Al Saad after two years in charge, where he brought them seven trophies in just two years with them. I think possibly even more impressively than the trophies and the stats, it was the way that he changed their style. In a relatively short space of time there, he went into a team and completely and utterly changed the way they thought about the game, changed the way they played the game. And that is going to be so, so important. Looking ahead here to the challenge that awaits Xavi at Barca. He leaves Al Sad with 62 wins from 91 games. They're a win rate of nearly 70%. 
and during his time in charge. There was exciting football, there was free-flowing attacking play, and just the 252 goals scored. But again, during these times of difficulty at the club, during times where things aren't always as simple as they may seem, one thing you've got to say is that, again, bringing back a former player, a former legend of the club, it could go one of two ways. It's not guaranteed to be a big success. It could go the other way too. Because we all know full well what we have seen over the past few seasons, but I think also we cannot forget that some of the very greatest moments in the club's history came with a former legend at the helm. It can be done. And Xavi, they'll be hoping to follow in the footsteps of Pep Guardiola, of Luis Enrique, and particularly those two coaches, because not only has Xavi played at Barca, not only has he had that experience of playing at this team, but he was also influenced by those very coaches. He played under Guardiola. He learned incredible amounts from Pep, face-to-face -face there in the training sessions, all of that stuff. He would have been taking it in all of the time. And then, of course, under Luis Enrique, who was a different character, who had a different style of play. And I think to actually play there and learn at different stages of Xavi's career too, under two very influential men, that will only stand him in good stead. And of course, we are all very, very excited here, looking forward to Chaffee's first game as the Barca coach, and we've known now for quite some time that he wasn't going to be in charge for this weekend's game against Celta Vigo. Instead, it was always going to be the first game back there after the international break. Chavi now has some much-needed time there to work on things at the training ground. And then, on Saturday, the 20th of November, he kicks off at the camp now, and not just in any game, but a derby match too against Espanyol. Following up on that, he's got Benfica at home. These are massive, massive games to start his career. A must-win game in the Champions League. And then, of course, playing away at Villarreal. Xavi is well aware of the challenge. He knows what he's coming into here. But what we also know, and what each and every one of us have to do, is give him time. Give him patience here. As somebody arriving into a difficult situation, coaches before him have been given time. They haven't been able to make it work. But Xavi here knows the philosophy, understands the identity and what's expected of this club. He's been here during our finest moments. He's learned from the very best. And the fact that he's accepted this job, the fact that he's arrived in this moment, it tells me, that he's ready for this challenge. He is ready to meet it head on. And we are all ready to back him and support him at this club. And given the time, given the patience and given the support of the fans, along with the backing of the current board, I think we can move forward. I think we can make here at last positive strides in the long term. And today for me, it's a beautiful day for this club. It is another chapter here in Xavi's incredible story at Barca. And there is no question at all. We can be excited. We're allowed to be excited. We're allowed to be hopeful. Because at long, long last, genuinely, guys, we're allowed to dream again. So indeed, guys, after all of this time waiting, after all of the obstacles that finally we have overcome, please do let me know. All of those comments down below. What are you feeling here about Xavi Hernandez's arrival back to Barca? And what are you hoping for during his time as a coach in the short, medium, and of course the long term? Let me know all of those opinions down below. And just enjoy this moment. Enjoy an icon, not only of Barca, but of the game. Returning home. Coming back. And giving us hope. I will see you soon. You could absolutely count on that because there is going to be plenty of content coming your way. I will see you then. What a day. What a day. And more than ever, Vizca El Basa. Uh -huh.